It's now time for Trivia Tracks with yours truly, Price Robertson. This edition of Trivia Tracks is brought to you by Washita Valley Respiratory Care, where you can breathe a little easier, and Beth Smith at Edward Jones. Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. He is considered by many to be the most athletic big man in pro wrestling history. Don Leo Jonathan was nicknamed the Mormon Giant for his imposing height, standing six foot six. Yes, before Andre the Giant, and before Big John Studd, among others, Don Leo Jonathan was the giant of wrestling. Don Heaton was born in Hurricane, Utah on April 29, 1931. He was a second-generation star, as his father was former wrestler Brother Jonathan, who also trained him. In high school, he played football and learned martial arts. Making his wrestling debut after World War II, he competed around the world over the course of his career, making stops in places such as Europe, South Africa, and Japan. However, he mostly wrestled in the U.S. and Canada. His first championship wins occurred in Montreal with Canadian Athletic Promotions, where he twice captured their world heavyweight title in 1955. Elsewhere in Canada, Jonathan found more success competing in Maple Leaf Wrestling, where he first teamed with Gene Kaniski to win the Canadian Open Tag Team title in 1959. In Winnipeg, he wrestled for Alex Turk Promotions, twice winning their international tag team title. In the AWA, Jonathan also got a taste of world heavyweight gold again when he won the AWA-affiliated Omaha Territories version of the world title three times in 1961. Canada eventually became home to Jonathan in the early 60s as he settled in the Vancouver suburb of Langley. He competed frequently for NWA All-Star Wrestling, winning numerous tag team and championship titles. On May 31st, 1972, in what was billed as the match of the century, Don Leo Jonathan defeated Andre the Giant by disqualification. This was 11 years after the more famous match of the century involving Buddy Rogers and Pat O'Connor. Later in 1972, in the so-called Battle of the Giants, Jonathan had a rematch against Andre, this time losing by disqualification. In 1978, he appeared in the movie Paradise Alley, starring Sylvester Stallone. He retired in 1980 after teaming with Andre the Giant and Roddy Piper to defeat the Sheep Herders and Buddy Rose in Vancouver. His post-wrestling interests were underwater inventions and exploration. In November 2005, he was honored in a special ceremony for his contributions to wrestling, and in May 2006, he was inducted into the Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame. He passed away on October 13, 2018, at the age of 87. Till next time, I'm Price Robertson. Amazed by today's trivia? Then join me every Monday through Friday morning for Trivia Tracks on Fox Sports Camden 97.1.